Hello, hello guys, and uh, I'm gonna doing a small episode for those maybe who didn't realize it, but there is a way for you to farm loot out of chests, out of all chests, especially ornate chests, considering the fact that they have the highest loot in them. Uh, so the best way to do it is before you open the ornate chest, you save through pressing F5. After you have saved, you you now can go on and open the chest. You check out the stuff in here, you know, you take this, you both take... You know, you do the regular routine, identif identify... You know, you look at the gear, you're like, you know, I kind of like this. You know, then you go save. And just save it as whatever. After that, you go, you know what, but... I want to try more. I want to see more varieties that this chest. Maybe I could get a legendary. And the ornate chests definitely drop legendary. So, you just go low. Knowing that that armor, that piece of gear that you just got is now yours. Now you could, you know, hang around and basically cycle through the gear. Uh, this time around they got a petrification book and bracelets. Nah, let's try again. Click F8, reload the game real quick. You know, depending on your computer, your specs and so on, that your loading time will vary. So, then you check again, bow chest, 218 gold. No, reload again. And this way you could, you know, load out until you find yourself a legendary item. You know, one time I was bored, was doing it long enough that I opened the chest, there were two legendary. Green and blue, bow and no, garbage. We'll see how many attempts it'll take to get up, legendary. And the green helmet, now you loot them both. You go, okay. Identify. Now you look at these boots, um, you know, are they better than the armor piece that you got that was blue? Yeah, uh, but you know what, they're really kind of, uh, not really my type of kind of boots, you know, it's okay. Even though they're better than mine, way better than mine, I think I'm kind of leaning towards that tunic more so far, because that tunic is 45 armor. And mine's 28. And as a tank class, you know, this is very valuable. Then you reload again. You know, you go, you know what, let me go check out what else they got over there. Let's see how many, you know, legendaries I can cycle through. Nope. F8, reload. Nope. Well, you know what guys, I think at this point you get the idea. I'm gonna just continue cycling, you know, t through this for a little longer. See if I could get another legendary, you know, for the fun of it. You know, it never hurts having, there's no such thing as too many legendaries. You know, so I'll keep cycling through them until I get... A good legendary or a good spell book that you want to have. You know, it's not even, sometimes it's not even worth of identifying. Because in this game there is no epic gear. Or like super duper gear. There is regular green, blue, legendary unique. You know, sometimes if, uh, oh wow, if I was a witch this would have been a score for me. You know, but unfortunately I am not... Also, through this way, you could t technically farm all the spell books, any kind of gear that you want. You could technically farm out of chests like that, but this is only works once per ch You know, I could, for an argument's sake, check this out. Damn. This might be even beating the other armor. Well, let's see. Hey, 
and then just continue farming. Like, I got this armor is way better than the other. You know, every time you get a nice piece, just save, check it out. Uh, compare it to your other loot that you got, you know, weigh your options, so to speak. Well, let's see what you think you could benefit from which piece a lot more. And, you know, like, see, the legends here are not that hard to... You know, you could always gear yourself out. Um, wow, this is actually really nice for one-hander. But, I don't know, my thing mind, mines is better. And, this would have been an amazing legendary piece for if I was a rogue or an arch. Unfortunately, I'm neither, so we will continue cycling through this. Nope. See, the armor that looks with these type of graphics tends to be a lot of very often to be dexterity. Armor with a plate look oh, tends to be, well, obviously, strength-based armor. That's why I'm not even stopping to see identify that armor, because I know for a fact that 99% of the time it's going to be dexterity, including things like that also. Sometimes they will create weird stats where they'll put, like, plus intelligence, willpower, like, another thing, and then all of a sudden they'll be, like, you know, base stat to use intelligence or strength. No. I'm honestly after some tank armor. I'm actually really satisfied with that 55 armor plate, even though it's not legendary. I mean, if I would get my hands on the legendary version of... Oh, like, you know, we could... We could also be happy with a legendary shield, considering mine's a green piece of sh Wow. I think I, we just got ourselves a winner. Oh, definitely a winners. Two winners, two major upgrades. Well, you know what, guys? I'll just call it quits here. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And please subscribe, click like, and I hope you guys learned something from this small tutorial.